maybe even good morning. We're going to be going over a quick five minute movement for the, to start your morning off. So this is something I started to incorporate in my routine a few years ago because I noticed that a lot of us too, especially me, you know, you hit, hit the alarm button and you wake up, you make coffee, shower, get dressed and go out the door. And we didn't really prime our body or wake up our body to get it ready for the day. And once I started doing this, it's nothing too intense, no exercise, shouldn't really be sweating. But the point of this is to wake up our body and more importantly, wake up our spine. As you know, it's super important. Our spine holds the, our nervous system and spinal cord, which controls everything in our body. So it's super, super important to make sure that is woken up in the morning. So I'm gonna run you through, it's really, really simple, about five minutes and let's get started. Just follow with me. Alrighty. So it should be the morning and I want you to, you shouldn't have had your slippers on, but if you do, kick them off. I want you to start barefoot and I want you to ground down into the floor. What I mean by that is you start to engage your feet and really gra grasp the floor. And just take a couple breaths right here. Engaging your feet and now we're going to go on our tippy toes then back on our heels. Tippy toes, heels. Just waking up our calves, our ankle, the intrinsic feet muscles. All right, shake it out. Now we're gonna do a few squats. And again, nothing too intense, just now we're getting into our legs. Nice and easy. Doesn't have to be super low, just until you start to feel the engagement. Good, now on these last two, we're gonna hold the squat at the bottom. Pump, one, two, and up. All right, and one more of those from the side here. Hold it and pump and up. All right, so we should be feeling a little bit more in our legs here. Now what we're gonna do trunk twists, but we're not gonna just kind of flail our arms. I want you to get really engaged in your core. And your arms are gonna start here. And gradually they're gonna come up. So now at your chest, shoulder level, head and above, and then we're going to come back down. Making up our spine. All right, good. Awesome. So this is this one. Next one is one of my favorites, especially for people who are in this position all day, whether they're working on the computer or writing, studying. So what I want you to do is you're going to open up your shoulders and your head in that really, really big and then reverse that. So roll the shoulders and back and head. Inhaling as you open up. Exhaling as you go out. A couple more of these. This one's just good to do anytime throughout the day. All right, good. Shake it out. Now staying in our shoulders, we're gonna do a shoulder roll. Imagine like a, there's a string right here that lifts your shoulder straight up and straight back and drop it back down. So just one shoulder at a time. It's really good to get, this gets in our ribs too. And our ribs are our lungs, so it helps us breathe. All right, good. Shake it out. And then into your neck. Neck circles. Going one way. And the other. Okay, now this is a really cool move here. Again, for those people who are in this position all day. So you're going to get your hand your hands, put it on your chest, it's a decent amount of pressure. Push down, so we're here, and then pushing down, and then we look up. And move, and that should 
give you an even more intense stretch in these front and neck muscles here. Awesome. Okay, so by now we should feel from our toes to our head a little bit more in our body. So we're gonna do two more things here um, that are really spine focused. So if you're familiar with yoga, you know cat-cow. We're gonna do a little bit of that. So on your knees and hands, start in a neutral spine. Let's do a couple cat-cows. So inhale, your belly button towards your spine and your head goes to and hips. And exhale, do the opposite. So belly button towards the yoga mat head looking up. A couple more. Okay. And this last one, it's similar. It's You start in a downward dog position, but I call it um, Downward flow, I guess, and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so we're going to start in a downward dog position, and then from our sacrum, our bottom bone here, to the very top bone here, we're going to roll and kind of flow each vertebra. So here's what that looks like. So you're starting here in downward dog, and you tuck in your tailbone, and your lumbars, and your thoracics, cervicals, and come up. And then we reverse that. So again, you can make this as long or as short as you want, but I found that this is just an amazing little movement and flow that I've created that by the end of it, I feel more awake, have more energy, more chi flowing in my body, more blood flow, and I'm ready to start the day. And I suggest the end of the movement flow we do, uh, we set our intention for the day. So. Whatever movement you do in the morning, whatever routine you have, um, I like to get very intentional for the day. And so um, I think it's best to do after you've done a little movement because your body's feeling really good and open and your mind's not really, your mind should be at peace. <laughs> so if you wanna join me here, I want you to close your eyes, take a few breaths, long inhales, long exhales. Put your hand on your heart. Feel it pumping a little bit more than what it was when you first started. And in this space, I want you to hold your intention for the day. What do you want your day to look like? Who do you want to be? How do you want to move through it? Do you want energy? Do you want to be love, joy? strong, whatever that is for you. Have that come. Welcome it in. Smile as if you're already experiencing it. All right, <laughs> thank you so much for joining. I hope this is helpful and have an awesome rest of your day.